Hey guys, this is um, Enemy Stars production. Um, Axel's update number two. Um, pretty much the code of conduct. Um, pretty much we're going to be talking about the roles of the cosplay group. Um, 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 rule number one for the con and other events. Respective leaders of the group as well as the staff of the con. Pretty much that rule is symbolizing disrespect us in general. Don't disrespect us. Um, and respect the staff at the conventions. Um, it's pretty much if you don't respect the staff and members and you tell you to leave or to keep move on and you disrespect them, they have the right to kick you out of the convention. And after that, we can't help you right there. If you try to have, say, hey, save me, I'm going to kick you out of the convention, I'm not going to step in. If you disrespected the staff at the convention, that's your own fault. You, need, you should know the rules of the cons and all that kind of stuff. For us, respect us. Expect it like we're your parents because we are your family. So have respect for us. Don't disrespect us and, you know, say you want to do what the heck ever you, you want to do. Have respect. Don't don't treat us like shit. Um, number two, if you have an issue with a member, go to a leader. Meaning if, a mem if you have a problem with a member's behavior, or a member is doing something like going out of terms and not doing following the rules of the uh, of our cosplay group. Come to me, Songstress Yuna, which is the skit director, or Roxas. Come to us right away and state your problem if you have a problem with a member. It's don't if the other member says you tattled on me, blah, 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 it's not tattling. If you have a problem, don't be shy. Just come to one of us and we'll handle it. Don't try to handle the situation on your own. You might make things worse. Um, so if you have a problem with a member, come to us. We'll handle it, okay? <coughs> um, number three. <coughs> Follow on dress code. Um, pretty much, it's the same thing at the conventions. They got a dress code standard. Um, Pretty much that saying, um, you know, they're not going to accept you wearing, like, there's a girl at the convention that ha was a character from Bleach. All she pretty much had on was a vest that she wore, and under the vest, she had no bra. She pretty much had duct tape over her nipples. Not acceptable, people. We do not need to see your ladies. Okay, keep ladies covered. These are our personal, you know, these are, and no one needs to see them. Okay? <laughs> Nobody needs to see your late. no one needs to see your girls. Same thing with you boys. None of you, we don't need to see girls. Your manhood down there, okay? Cover up. Don't wear anything inappropriate that you can't see that. Or your butt crack, for example. Okay? Well, I don't need to see any part of your body parts. Have respect for us. Cover up. Make sure you're covered. Um, if you don't want to wear underwear, that's fine. I don't care if you just just don't let us know you're not wearing any underwear. Okay? We don't need to know that. Just cover up. You know, even if it's okay. For that example, for that girl, say if you guys come here, like you're not wearing top under your vest and it's part of your character, um, and the girls want to wear them. Like, what's part of my character? Blah, blah, blah. Here's an example. Wear a skin type or a skin color material sports bra, okay? Or a, sti a skin material tank top. So it looks like it's still your skin, but it's not showing anything, okay? If that helps. Um, for guys, 
you want to cosplay Aladdin, go ahead. Girls know cosplay Aladdin. <laughs> we don't need to see that. If you want to cosplay Aladdin, then um, at least do like Prince Ali Aladdin or something. We don't need to see your boot. We don't need to see your ladies, okay? Um, men can, okay, men you can go around topless. If that's part of your character, walk around topless, that's okay. We don't care. Because, well, you've got nothing to show anyways. You're flat chested anyways. We don't really care if you go around topless. But girls, ladies, we don't need to see your ladies. Anyways, <laughs> it was back to the code of conduct. Um, number four. If you have... This is for adults, men and women. If you, if there are kids under 17, watch your language. Meaning no cussing. I know it's going to be kind of hard, cause that's, especially if that's in your vocabulary. And you have no choice. If it, if it slips by accident, we'll be okay with that. If it accidentally comes out. But just don't like start cussing up a storm. I mean, if it's in your character, that's fine. If we're not filming you and putting it on YouTube, and you're just like improving and it's part of your character and you're in character, let us know that this is part of your character. Or if we don't know your character, or if we do know your character, we know it's in character, or we won't say anything to you. That's fine. Um, because if you're in character, that's fine. But if you're doing it because for the randomness and you're not in character and you just feel like cussing at somebody or something random, then we'll come talk to you because that's not okay. Um, number five, there's a star by it. That means that our our group pretty much has a three strike rule. You know, one, two, the first two were warnings. Third one. If you get warned by the same thing, you're gone. You're out of the cosplay group. Um, number five, when it just has a star by it, that means it's automatically, there's no warnings. You're automatically out of the cosplay group if we catch you doing it. No drinking drugs or smoking in minors' rooms. And this is at the con. We do not accept that. If one of our members catches somebody doing that in a hotel room, come to us. If you catch them doing it and come tell us and we'll put a stop to it and we'll kick him out of the group because that's not acceptable we do not accept you adults doing that kind of drinking you know smoking or doing drugs around minors it's not acceptable also another thing that's not acceptable is no flirting with minors that's another one of a, you're gone. If we catch you doing it, you're out. We do not need to see some over adult making out with a minor underage kid. And that if you think, oh, oh, he's 18. Okay, how old are you? 17. Doesn't matter. You're underage. You are lying, adult. Doesn't matter. It, we will actually report you if we catch you doing it. If you're making out with a minor, flirting with a minor, we will actually kick you out. We'll, call, we'll probably even up calling the cops on you um, and have you kicked out or some of that. It's just protection to us, protection to the minor. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's against the law. It's not right. Um, enough, you're minor and minor. You're both minors. And say, say you're both minors. Okay? And you're both dating. That's okay. We won't do anything about it because we know you're both minors and you're both girlfriend or girlfriend, boyfriend or boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend. Another thing about us is that we do not discriminate, you know, same sex partners. We actually don't care about that. Um, for one, we actually, me and my boyfriend are actually into. Yuri, Yaoi, and Hentai. We're actually into that kind of stuff. So just because you're both lesbians or both gay together, pff, more likely we'll think it's just hot. <laughs> we won't care. As long as you're both adults or both minors, we will not care. Um, anyways. But no adult and minors. That's a no-no.
Um, and we even see you at the convention. You're gone. Let them know. Um, number six. No, same thing. Sorry, no, sorry, it's the same one. No, same with my nurse. She, sorry about that. That was a duh. Anyways. This one's relating to Songstra Unit because she's the skit director. Skit participations must be fo must follow through in the masquerade. If can't make it, let your skit no later and know ahead of time so she can find a replacement. If you don't have if if you don't show for the masquerade and don't tell your leader, and she has to back out, back out. You get a strike. Um, if you get three strikes, you're kicked out of the skit department, not the group, the skit department. Um, pretty much, this has a thing. It's just her role. She had a time where she was doing a skit, and there was a guy that decided not to tell her he was not coming to the con. He just didn't show up. She's done that. He's done this to her at least two or three times. And she did not appreciate him. She now, that specific person, if you want to be part of the cosplay group, you can't. She's gonna give me a list of people that she does not want in our cosplay group because she refused to work with them. That's just that's just Sanchez's just personal personal opinion. She's to certain people that she does not want part of the cosplay group. Um. So like I said, if you can't show. If you can't make it to the con to do the skit, let her know so she can find a replacement and teach them the, the, the dance moves or whatever we're doing for the skit. Don't just do a no-show because that's not, that's not cool. Have responsibility. Show or if you can't show, let her know so she can find you a replacement. For skit practice, it helps a show, but it's not required. She won't be mad at you that you don't show for the skit practice, but, um, you know, she'll just say, oh, I missed you. Please, if you want to come back, please come try it. Come to next, my next practice and practice with the group. It's just pretty much for your own, so you know what the heck this group is doing and what the skit's about, so you can get practice, so you're not going to be so nervous during the masquerade and mess up. Um... So yeah, um, this is for me and the camera guy for Kaido. Um, YouTube videos, appropriate language, no bad words. If your film director has to warn you three times, you will be kicked out of this department for one week. It's kind of like a detention or kind of like a you know a timeout thing. Then you after then you'll be come back again. But if you if he has to warn you a second time, all three strikes, you're out. Your second chance, you will not be welcome in the YouTube videos again. Damn. We're pretty much giving you two chances. First chance, get kicked out for one week. You come back a second time, come back again after the set, after your week's up. You do it again, you will not be welcome back in the YouTube video videos. And this is for YouTube. And this is for this is for Videos we do for fun, randomness at the conventions. Videos we do for posting on YouTube. Even if it's random videos we do for randomness for YouTube. If you mess up the same time you come back, you don't get a second chance. You're out of the YouTube um, department. Pretty much. Video department. And we don't want to do this to you guys. We do not want to kick you out of each department. If you want to be part of the departments, follow the rules. You know, behave yourselves, show responsibility, and, 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 and do what you're supposed to do and we won't have to kick you out. We don't want to do that. It, it hurts our feelings because, you know, we want you guys to have fun in our cosplay group. We don't want to have to, to, to totally kick you out of that and say you can't be part of it anymore. We don't want to do that. We want you to have fun and be part of whatever event you want to be part of. Um, um, number nine, 
This is for both con and events. Um, product selling. We will not hold any items, any member. If you want an item, you have to pay for it up front. There will be other customers that want the, that item as well. How I see it, first come, first serve. No favoritism. Pretty much just because you're a member, we're not going to show favoritism towards you saying, if you say like, Oh, can you just hold it for me for like an hour? I'll be back with the money. Uh-uh. If we're at a convention or an event and you don't have the money with you, we're not going to hold it for you. Each member will get a copy in the list of item pricing that we will be selling. So it's not like you're not going to know what the item is or how much it's going to be. We're not going to hold them for you. Pretty much when we do these sellings, we're trying to make a profit for anime. We're trying to make money for anime stars production. So we can do other things like go on to big trips. Um, we're not going to hold the item for you. If you actually have a request saying, I want blah, 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 plushie. Or I want this specific picture, and you request it. I said, "Okay, fine. I will have it done by the con. I will not have it on the table. I'll have it put to the side and have it hold safe for you. But when you come over to the table and ask, I want my item that I requested. I'll pull it, pull it out of the hiding or out of the box or wherever I have it stashed, and give it to you, and you can pay for it." But any other items that you do not request that are laying on the table, payment up front. There's no favoritism because you're just because you're a member of sec, uh, Anime Star Production. We're not going to show any favoritism because then, then we'll have other members who want to try to do that too, and then we're going to have them having a fight. Say you're favoring that member over me. And this is pretty much related to two of my best friends that are also members. Just because you're my friend does not mean I'm going to show favoritism towards you guys because you're my friends. I love you guys just the same, but every member has to have the same exact restriction. Every member is going to be treated the same way. There's going to be no favoritism. I'm not going to show favoritism. It's like, oh, I like you more. You, you get a discount. How about that? Uh-uh. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to treat every, every member is going to be treated fairly. Same rules. Reply to every single member. Okay? Okay. I'm going to that clear. Um, it goes the same for the con and other events, pretty much. No favoritism. All members are treated equally. First come, first serve if you want that item. If you see the item you want on the table and you want it, you have to come get it yourself and pay for it up front. Okay? Number 10, the biggest rule that I have listed so far. Be nice to other members' costumes and fellow members. Also, respect other cosplayers at events slash cons. This is a big one. This is what I was talking about during the first Q&A video. Fame. If you're the kind of cosplayer that goes around and actually goes up to going, is going to go up to one of our members or other other people at the cons and go, your costume sucks. I, my costume's way better than yours, and it's not accurate. La 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 la. If we see you do this at all, we're going to give you a warning. Depending on how bad it is, we might just give you go straight from strike one to strike two. Depending on the remark you do. Respect members' costumes. Respect our costumes. Show respect. And not relating to just the members, but the people at the conventions too. Don't go around saying their costume sucks, or I'm a better cosplayer than you, or if it even shows in your attitude. That is not okay. We're all here to have fun. We're all here because we love cosplay and we like doing what we like to do. Especially because there's actually a new member that just joined yesterday 
um, that is new to cosplay. She hasn't done cosplay in a long time. She only has. She told me she only has two costumes, or yeah, two or three costumes, and she's really new to cosplay. She hasn't done it for a whole year. People like that, we want. I want them to feel comfortable. I want them to feel at home, saying, make them feel safe that it doesn't matter if your cosplay is perfect or not. Okay, I'm letting you know that right now, sweetie. That it doesn't matter if your costumes are not perfect. If you want to cosplay, cosplay for fun. I'm going to say that one more time. Cosplay for fun. Your costume does not have to be perfect. If it's something that you want to do and it's a character you like and you came up with the character or you decided you want to dress your character like a maid or whatever you want to do, do it. You know, I just want people who, especially people that are new to cosplay or haven't done cosplay in a long time, I don't want members going up and start talking, bashing on them, and saying their costume sucks. That's going to hurt their feelings, and that's going to make them cry, and I'm going to be pissed. Okay? You're going to make Axel mad, and that's not a good thing. Okay? So, members, show respect to leaders and other members and other people at the conventions. If you, That's a big factor in my rules. Respect. You can follow that. We'll be on good terms. Um, also, number 11, which is not really a rule. This is kind of more of a statement than we're going to go. Um, I'm not saying you can, I'm allowing you to be in other cosplay groups if you want to be. But don't put them ahead of mine. Try, if it's not too much stress on you, try to be part of both. Um... Just let us know, like, oh, I can't do masquerade because I'm in this other masquerade for this other group. That's fine. We are not gonna tell you you can't do that. Just a big factor is that we don't we don't want you to do is if you're if you're in our group at the moment and you go around and start telling the other members about this other cosplay group. Like, oh my god, this cosplay group is so awesome. It's way better than Anime Stars Production. You should join. No other advertisement. Okay? No going around telling our members how wonderful the other cosplay group is. Try to convince them to leave our group to go join your, this other group you're in. That's not okay. That is other advertisement that should be kept your mouth shut. If you want to be part of the other cosplay group, tell us leaders and we will make a note saying that you're part of this other group. And we will keep it between us. We're not going to announce it to the other members. If the other members ask where you're at, we'll say, oh, you, you just couldn't make it. Or you can't be here at the moment. We'll come up with something to tell them. But don't go and start advertising to our other anime Stars production members saying this as cosplay group is so awesome. You must come join. Let's leave the anime Stars production. They're stupid. They're a lame cosplay group. Let's join their other cosplay group. Because I'm just letting you know there's going to be other cosplay groups that are going to want to have you join their group. We're not the only ones. But don't go advertising it to the whole world. Don't advertise it to the freaking my, my members. Because that's just not cool. And that's just like waving a freaking toy in front of your face saying, Lucky, lucky what I got. Nah, 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 you can't have it. Uh-uh. Just don't do it. Okay? Anyways, those are the rules I have right now. They're pretty much 11 total. Um, if I come up with any more, I will let you know. But, like I said, you don't have to meet me in person to be part of my cosplay group. <laughs> I'm not going to bite you. I am a very fun, loving person. I just want... These rules are just here to help keep make the make the cosplay group go smoothly and to make other members feel comfortable. I want you members to feel comfortable in my cosplay group. This is pretty much if you're not part of my member, come join our cosplay group family. We'd love to have you. We would love it. I'm trying to get new members. We haven't started the events yet because we're trying to get members right now. Um, 
Oh, there's something I'm not forgetting. Dang, I can't think of it. I know I'm trying to think of something, but I can't remember what it is. Um... Oh, anyways, I don't really know. I can't think of it at the moment. But... Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Oh, I also found a website, which I'm still experimenting with. I'll let you guys know more about it. I found a site where I can actually edit products. Like, say, cups, bags sweatshirts, shirts, um, not the, not the side that I'm doing my cosplay group shirts right in the moment, but I can do other products like shirts, um, you know, notebooks, uh, bags, I already said bags, I already know I said bags, uh, pretty much bags, sweatshirts, cups, I don't know what else, I'll have to look more into the website. But I could possibly design and add things to it and edit them to wherever I want. If that's the case, I'll let you guys know more about it once I experiment with it a little bit more. I'll let you know. And um, you can request something, whatever I, whatever you want. Like say you want a freaking Naruto bag. I'll try my best to make edit the bag the way you want it to be edited. And then I'll tell you how much it's going to be. And then I'll, and you give me the money and I'll order it for you. Um, but pretty much, um, that's about it. I'm going to experiment more on that little site, though, so I'll let you know when I know more about it. Anyways, sorry about the whole, um, episode three. I am delayed on it at the moment because Songstress Yuna was sick and she's supposed to be part of the uh, episode three. She's supposed to be my Riku during that video, during that episode, so um, it's kind of delayed at the moment. Um, so I apologize. I will get episode three up and going whenever I get a chance to get the recording done. So, anyways, like I said, if you have any other questions about Anime Star Production, just ask me. I'm still trying to get subscribers, so subscribe me. Um, and, well, pretty much if I come up with any other rules, let me know. I'll, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, those are the main focus rules. Axel says so long.